Scratch my shoulder, baby. Got any on my shoulder? Down a bit. Not a chip. No, not a chip. I ain't got a chip on my shoulder. Anyway, good to see you again, folks. We hope you're going to enjoy this little recipe. Some will love it and some will hate it, won't they? Yeah. Yeah? So this is, we've actually done a few taste reviews on these ones, and these is going to be fish pies. We tried a cheap one, and we tried a luxurious one, but even so, it weren't, it weren't up to standard, yeah. Sharon, was it? So Sharon says, why don't we make our own, as she has done in the past, and we found these, which is fish pie mix, and what did they cost and per packet? About four pounds. Four each? Yeah. Four pound each? You better be bleeding good for that, baby. Well, it's fish, it's salmon, isn't it? I and know, it? salmon, cod they and ham. an offer. Actually, I remember now, it was three packets for ten pounds, and I was like, I've got two of these, and I've got some turkey strips. Happy so. days. Right, so we've got two processes to cook in here, folks. One is going to be the actual cooking of the pie itself, which is going to be done in our Ninja air fryer. And the second part, first, is pre-cooking the fish, and we're going to do that. Oh, it stinks, doesn't it? Fish for you. And we're going to be pre-doing that in this little steaming setup we got here. Let's show you. So we've just got a a little bit of water in the bottom of a saucepan there, and we put the colander in the top there. And, and the lid on the top. It's not touching the actual colander. So Sharon's just going to get the fish out now. Lovely big chunks of fish. Yeah, well that's what's going to make it luxurious, Sharon. And I should think so for the money. I'd expect no less, Sharon. And you're going to be doing two pies, aren't you? Yeah, I've got two dishes that are fit in the Ninja, and if I've got any left over, that also fits in the Ninja, that size. Right, well, before we go any further, can we run through the ingredients? We have some fish pie mix, some cheese, some milk, plain flour, peas, parsley, salt and pepper, and also mashed potato for the topping. So she's just going to drop that fish into our colander. And as I say, this is just another way of steaming it, folks, if you haven't got a steamer. Don't worry, because it will also finish to cook in the oven when it's all put together. When it's all put together, yeah. But while that's cooking away... I've seen in previous videos. How much milk you got there, you reckon? About a pint. About a pint, pint of milk she's putting in that, folks. And all she'll do now is turn that on. And while she's bringing that to the boil, she's just going to add a... A dessert spoonful, a uh, heat dessert spoonful of normal plain flour, and then she'll just whisk that in with her balloon whisk, and that will thicken up lovely, folks, with no lumps as well. So just keep it moving, though. Uh, you can make a roux first, that is put a little bit in there first of all, make a, a, a paste, and then add your milk slowly, but this works exactly the same, folks. So after she's done that, she's then going to be adding the grated cheese when it thickens up a little bit. Yeah, and a bit of parsley and salt and pepper. And that will be our sauce. Right, literally, in a matter of a couple of minutes, folks, that is already thickened up lovely. Look at that, look. So she's just whacking in the, uh, the cheese now, dropping it in bit by bit. Right, she's just lowered the flame on that as well, because we don't want the bottom to burn. You must keep stirring this, folks, and get all that cheese in there. You want a nice cheesy sauce when you're making the sauce for this luxury fish pie, baby. Yeah. Keeping it moving. So we won't put actually all of that in. I don't know how much weight you've got there, but we have kept some for the top of the fish pies as well, folks. If it's got things that need using up, these are ideal dishes. Yep, there you go. And they've literally cooked in no time. I think we've actually turned this one off. Must be the parsley. Because the fish is already cooked already. Right, so just to give it that little... Uh, Bit of spring that little flavour, that little parsley hit. We've got dried parsley, I suppose you could put the fresh parsley yeah. in there, chop it up and put it in there. But this works just as well. Any fish dish really loves parsley, Sharon, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that, folks. That's a lovely white sauce there. And do you want to season it up as well? Please. Uh, we use Himalayan pink salt there and also some lovely black pepper. Make sure you put it in, folks. I see so many people just put a little dash in and you're never going to taste it. As you can see, that's got black pepper running all through that now. We love pepper in this house. We do this and then we'll also have loads of white pepper on our dinner, aren't we? Yeah. And a bit of the old sea salt. You don't need to go too mad with the sea salt because the fish is naturally the sea. salted anyway, baby. <laughs> that's right. So there you go. That's our white sauce now actually prepared. And I must say, it looks lovely. It. Right, so there's our fish in our calendar, or colander rather, and we've got, as I say, three different types of fish there, folks. 
she's going to try and distribute this pretty evenly throughout. It doesn't matter if it's not fully cooked, it's going to cook in the uh, air fryer. This just gives it a head start. Oh, oh look at that, and all she's doing is literally spreading it out in the old glass bowls there we've got. And these fit, you've tried these in the air fryer, Shaga? Yeah, they're fine. They fit perfectly in our air fryer, folks. And I could tell you for, for once, we've done these reviews on these two fish pies we did uh, on this channel, and no way did they have this quality of fish or amount, amount of fish in there. Pass me the peas, please. I'm not bothering to cook the peas because they're going to cook in yeah, here. Yeah, peas cook anyway, so pretty quickly. So just put some lovely peas in there, folks. Look at that, look. Look at that. Superb. You've got to whack it all in, baby. I'm going to get a little one. Oh, good. If you want to do a little one. Because I've got plenty of mash, I've yeah. got mad for mash. Is that one person's portion or two there? I'm not sure. One for you, two for me and Charlotte, because we're going to have, we're having this for tea tonight, and we're having with it um, broccoli stems and runner beans. Happy days. So yeah, we've got these little takeaway containers as well, folks. You can pick them up, whack your peas in there, baby. And this is a little, little perk one. It's always only to have sat in the freezer in it a ready meal yeah and i prefer that to one you get in fact that's probably got more in the, the ready meals that you buy already baby yeah go on use it all up that's it whack it in there baby if you want you can put sweet corn in whatever you want right so get that old white sauce baby right so this is the bit folks this is the white sauce now get it out oh look at that how luxurious does that look look at that Lovely cheesy goodness there with parsley flecks running through it. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to use it all up, baby. We're going to use it all up. Put it in that end one again. Get it all out of there. The little chef perk one. Superb. Look at that. Three lovely, luxurious fish pies there. Ready now for the topping of mashed potato we prepared earlier on. Right, so here's our mashed potato, folks. Anyone can do mashed potato. We prepared a bit earlier, so all I'm going to do now, I'm just going to sort of lay it on. Don't lay, push, eh? Oh, come here, don't push down too hard. Don't, I know, baby. <laughs> don't push down too hard, baby. So I'm just going to sort of ease it in there. There's plenty of mash there. Yeah, there is loads of mash, so we're not worried about having not enough mash. Let's just get it spread out first of all, and we can shape it in a minute. Right, folks, so all we're going to do, literally, is use the back of the spoon and just pull it into the corners just to get everything sealed in, like that. There we go. Just get it all even, as even as you can. It ain't got to be accurate. I'm not. I'm no blinking master chef at the end of the day. So once we've got there, like that, all we're going to do then is get our fork. You could pipe it on, but we're just going to run that down there like not that. Too hard. Just gently. Just gently. Look. You tell me, baby. Just make a lovely little pattern on it. Hey? Eh? Well, you've got to tell me, baby, I'm new. And then just cross it, look. There we go. And you can pipe it on, as I say, you can make it look as pretty as possible. So that'll go like that. We'll then get some of that grated cheese. And literally, just, just throw it on there like that, look. We might have to grate a little bit more up, folks, because uh, we want it luxurious. And it will brown off lovely on there so there you go that's what they're all going to look like so i'll just finish these other two off and then we'll put them in the air fryer to cook well one of them in the air fryer the little one's going in the freezer for me oh, afterwards the other one's going in the freezer as well and uh, we'll come back to you when we put it in the air fryer so i'll see you in a minute right so this is the big one folks she's just made a bit of foil up there as you can see and it just helps in lifting in the uh when the large get, container. When you're getting it out as well. Yeah, it also helps in pulling it out. So make a little foil, uh, like strip there. That's lasted a while, that as well. Yeah, we've got that one for a while. Over. And we'll put this one in and we'll do synchronise. Yep, yeah. so they're both going in for the same uh, time, even though this one's probably half the size show, isn't it? Yeah. So we just drop that in That's there. That's baby well. Frank's. Eh? Hey? That's baby Frank's dinner. Yeah. So in they go. Right, so we'll turn it on first of all. You're going to match them both together. Air fry. We're going to take that down to 180, we said, didn't we? Time. Do 12 minutes. 
do 12 minutes then start them both off and that's it folks and it's wash up simple as that and get rid of them smelly fish packets and this one baby i'm going to put its lid on and put it in the freezer yeah. over there, isn't it? yeah these are lovely solid glass containers these folks these i bought a few years ago and they're actually from ikea and they're excellent size and they were five pounds each so i recommend these Used time and time again, these have been. And that now is sealed up, and that can go, as I say, that can be frozen now. Yeah, it's going to be frozen right now. Right, folks, 12 minutes are up on 200 degrees. There we go, look at the colour of that. That's lovely. I don't think this camera does it justice. So let's just get this out, folks. This is the idea of having these little strips, folks. Look at that, look. Superb. And let's get the little one out. I've got to be careful here because I don't know how hot that is that side. Do you want a spatula? Oh, that's right. Well, I'll probably be alright, baby. Just hold it on the edge. Oh, yeah, that's hot. Oh, look at them, folks. Look. That is bubbling in there. You probably can't see it, but it's bubbling in there. And look at that golden top on that. And there's that little one as well, folks. Look at that. Right, this is little baby Frank's one, folks. Let's cut into that. Oh, look. Not that we feed baby Frank this much. Oh, look. Get it not looking nice, baby. Can you see the... Oh, look at that food. I'll tell you what, folks. That looks absolutely fantastic. And what you didn't see off camera is that when I turned round, that big serving spoon, she had it shoved in her mouth. <laughs> but it looks absolutely fantastic. So, now, this is a luxury fish pie. There's no two ways about it, baby. Yeah. Now, tell me what you think of that. You've got a bit of everything there. It's amazing. Hey? amazing it's lovely it is a, a proper i can smell it folks i love fish as well so and what about that cheesy mash on top baby have a go at that as oh, well see this bit here people the crust around the edge that's what we like mm. go on it makes you wonder when you try this why and how simple it is to make why people actually buy a frozen fish pie this was so simple to make folks as i say the main ingredients is the quality ingredients which is the fish that's where you spend your money on that. The rest of it is stuff you've got in your house. Tin of peas or a processed peas or whatever, or even garden peas, it don't really matter. A bit of cheese, the mashed potato, and so easy, everyone's got flour and milk in their house. And the rest is a bit of savory, savory seasoning with the parsley, and a bit of cheese just on the top and make it golden brown. Far better than any of these luxury ones that you see in the supermarkets. And we've tried the best of them, believe yeah. me. The quality is superb. Anyway, if you don't like fish, okay, fair enough. But if you do like fish and you like fish pie, you've got to make it yourself, folks. You won't get anything else like it in the shop. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Don't forget to check out our, our other videos and also check out our Sunday vlog, which comes live on Sunday evening at 8 p.m. British UK time. And there's a chat box there where you can chat to us because we'll be in there. Yeah. Thanks very much, folks. See you in the next video. And until then, bye for bye. now. That's superb. It is. I can't believe you've got that spoon in your mouth, Sharon. Well, when you're hungry, you do, don't you? That was the spoon, folks. Look at the size of it. That went in there, look, she, she had that in her mouth. <laughs>